In today's video, we're going to go through the checkout settings. So when you head to the Lifter LMS settings on the sidebar, you'll see the center tab is called checkout. And what the checkout tab allows you to do is manage your payment gateways and other checkout related items. Uh, so let's dive in. So the checkout settings, the first area we have here is the checkout page. We can change which page is designated as our checkout. The Lifter LMS setup wizard creates the purchase page. So I'm going to leave it there for now. Uh, we can have a confirmed payment endpoint slug. You can probably leave it like that as it's set for default, uh, but if you'd like, you could change it, I guess. Um, we also have force SSL here. Uh, you're going to want to check this box to force SSL in order to create a more secure um, setup on your site. Uh, one thing uh, new is Google Chrome is now uh, alerting uh, people, and you'll see sometimes when I go to a different screen, there'll be a it'll say not secure in red, and it's warning people um, for any website that doesn't have an SSL. Uh, that the site might not be secure if they're collecting any data, but it's just a security measure for your site So you're going to want to make sure you have one of those anyway I'm working on a demo site, which is why I don't want to have one here But you'll want to check that before processing PayPal or collecting any kind of data So uh, we can opt to retry failed payments for recurring payments If somebody has if you have a recurring payment plan and somebody's payment fails to go through uh, Enable automatic retries is uh, something you can check on right here and Then we have our currency options you can go through this when running the setup wizard, or you can manually change those here with your country and some other options for um, currency. And uh, I believe this is the default um, for the United States, so I'll leave these as they are for now. Um, one thing is we can hide zeros on uh, decimals. So if there's zeros in the decimal places, I can opt to hide those. I'll show you an example of that. So if I head to a new tab here, and let's say I'll head to the course catalog quick and check out a course to show you this feature in action. So if I head to an access plan, oh, I'm logged in here. So what I'll do is I'll open an incognito window and head to the course. So this way I'm not logged in um, so I can see the access plans. So I currently have the, uh, the setting checked to hide zeros, but if I uncheck that and I save changes, and I reload this page here, we should see these zeros come in in the decimal places right here and here. Uh, you'll also see this on the checkout page here. And now if I go back and check this um, area here to hide those zeros, save changes, head back over here, those zeros will disappear from right here. Um, and yeah, so that's just a neat thing that you can use to clean up the, the price a little bit. So that's a neat feature there, but let's continue on. Uh, so past currency options, our last area here is payment gateways. This is where you can manage the payment gateways on your site. And similar to the integrations tab, we can go into any gateway and enable that. So let's see here. Um, once this one loads up, uh, if I don't want to accept payments manually, I can simply uh, disable that, save changes. And if I head back to the, the checkout tab after this reloads here, I should be um, good to go with, uh, with that being unchecked there. Yep. See, so you can see that's disabled now. And one thing I can do, uh, Stripe is automatically enabled on this site. Um, but if I have uh, PayPal and Stripe, for example, I'll want to make sure both of these are enabled and, um, I'll want to have my API keys in here if I'm really doing transactions, but for the demo here, I'll just, um, enable those. And now if I head to the checkout page for any course, I'll reload and we should see the, the payment options I have. The first one here is credit card and the second one is PayPal um, because I have those two enabled. But if I wanted to switch the order of these, for example, I can simply click and drag here and save my changes. And then I'll reload back over here. And now PayPal should be on top in case you wanted to change the order for that. Uh, you do have the option of doing that there. So. Yeah, I guess that about wraps it up for the tutorial on the checkout features. Uh, this has been Will Middleton. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one.